number 57. From the phase diagram for carbon dioxide, which is this figure right here, figure 10.34, we need to determine the state of CO2, carbon dioxide, at negative 40 degrees Celsius and 500 kilopascals. Okay, so this phase diagram may look a little intimidating, but I promise you it's as easy as just reading a regular um, X and Y graph. We have X and Y coordinates here. The x-axis is in temperature, degrees Celsius, and the y-axis is in pressure, kilopascals. And how convenient that they gave us the same units for what we're searching for. So we basically just have to find out where the negative 40 is on the x-axis. So the negative 40 here, since it's in Celsius, this is part of your x-axis. This is your coordinate for x. And the 500 kilopascals, that's the y-value. So in essence, if I just put y here, in essence, we're just trying to find a point. And the point here is negative 40, comma, 500. Let's try it out. Doesn't really matter whether you start from the x or the y. I'll start from the x-axis, the temperature. So I'm going to try to find negative 40 on this temperature. Well, I know that negative 40 has to be in between 0 and negative 50. Now they give me a middle marker here. The middle in between 0 and negative 50 is negative 25, so I can kind of gauge appropriately where negative 40 would be. Negative 40 would probably be somewhere closer to 50 over here, let's just say. We could estimate. So here's negative 40. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just draw a straight line all the way up just to kind of visualize all the points that we can run through. And now, let's find the y-axis, 500. Now, 500 is not really on this scale, but I know that 500 has to be between 100 and uh, 1,000, right? Maybe roughly, let's see, maybe between 100 and 1,000. There's nine other hundreds, so maybe 200, 3, 4, 5, somewhere, somewhere around the middle. Maybe we'll say that this is 500. 500. And now let's just draw a line, just to kind of visualize. And where those two intersect is going to be our point of interest. And the intersection is right here. So I could basically just get rid of all the other lines that go toward it. And we can clearly see that at this temperature and pressure, carbon dioxide is in the brown phase, right? <laughs> Um, and that's the gas phase. So in this case, at negative 40 degrees Celsius and 500 kilopascals, carbon dioxide will be a gas. And that's it. Just reading a graph. What do you think? Let's box this off, and we are good to go. All right. So thanks so much. Hopefully this helped. Uh, keep working with the videos. You guys got this. I'm so proud of all your guys' accomplishments. Keep working hard. Good luck on your tests and quizzes. And I'll talk to you soon. All right? Okay. Bye-bye.